Hello, uh, it's Ann Beauregard, uh, Ward 5 City Councilor, and we're at Ward 5 and 10, the first time in 2019. Today is Tuesday, January 22nd. It's about 19 degrees outside, and for many, we're seeing an awful lot of ice. We hope that everyone made it safely through this unfortunate snow and ice, but we're hoping, too, that people had a very pleasant long weekend and observance of uh, Martin Luther King. We're going to talk briefly today about a couple of things. I just want to highlight the fact I'm talking, as I had in the past, about snow shoveling for seniors. It's available. And again, people can contact Andrea at 508-897-6813. 508-897-6813. Eight nine seven six eight one three to see if you could uh, qualify for these services. We want our seniors to be safe, and again, we want to emphasize to our homeowners there is still time to apply for abatements and other exemptions and find out more details. We realize that for many of you, the taxes went up, and we understand that there are challenges. I want to make sure I mention that. I also want to mention there are many services in our city that are provided to the people that live here and for many surrounding communities. Mm -hmm. This is the only city in Plymouth County, and we're there to help many. I will be having my ward meeting on Tuesday January 29th at the Downey School, beginning at 6.30 p.m. The primary discussion will be Pine Street, Thatcher Street, Massasoit and Thatcher Street, and Summer Street, and we will be discussing plans, proposals, and concerns that many individuals might have about changes that need to be made at those various intersections. Safety is a priority, and we want to keep it that way. Again, my name is Ian Beauregard. I'm the Ward 5 City Councilor. You can, I can be reached at a Beauregard at C-O-B-M-A dot U-S, that's B-E-A-U-R-E-G-A-R-D, or at 774-297-4939. We're looking forward to talking with you and working with you. There is going to be much information as we kick off this new year. So here comes much information from a constituent of Ward 5. Yes. And this is Shana Barnes, and she's going to explain a whole lot to you about her position with Congressman Lynch's office located here, yes, here in downtown Brockton. Thank you, Shana, for being here, and I'm going to let you take over. Thank so. you. No, thank you very much, uh, Counselor. I appreciate the opportunity to come, especially in, in this time where things are so uh, complicated and, and unprecedented, things are going on. So, you know, it's good uh, that you had the foresight to think to invite me to come to express or, or to share with the, uh, the constituents at home in Brockton and throughout our area of the uh, 8th Congressional District some of the services that we still provide even in, in, this, uh, in this kind of atmosphere. Uh, so as you mentioned, the office, we moved from uh, 155 West Elm Street back downtown uh, to 37 Belmont Street. Um, not 237, but T-O. 37 Belmont Street, um, the Dunkin' Donuts building really in the, the courthouse kind of triangle where in that brick building there uh, across the street actually from the new um, Register, Register of Deeds building uh, that just opened up last week. So we've been there a little, little over a year, uh, almost two years now, and the Brockton District Office particularly where I am uh, as a staff member um, my particular focus in the office is to help constituents with immigration issues, uh, anything with the Department of State, Bureau of Consular Affairs, uh, any kind of embassy issues, uh, foreign and domestic embassy issues, um, a lot of visa issues, a lot of uh, petitioning for uh, relative information and, and things that we do there, uh, pretty much being the liaison between USCIS, which is United States Citizenship and Immigration Services, uh, the Department of State, and the constituents. So we're kind of that, go, that in-between, that go-between. So um, with that said, uh, oh, actually, also, too, um, we do a little bit of uh, the Medicare issues for the constituents of the southern part of the 8th District, which includes uh, the Bridgewaters, uh, Whitman, Abington, a um, little bit of Weymouth, Quincy, Hull, Situate, down that way. So we also deal with, with anyone that has some Medicare issues with them. Uh, with, with in the, that area and Social Security for the uh, most part, a little bit of housing, but primarily, um, you know, it's the immigration uh, stuff that we do there in the Brockton office. So, 
So going back, so uh, with that said, uh, you know, with the shutdown and some of the things that are going on, we have had limited um, ability to do as much as we would like to do, uh, just, just because of kind of navigating through what's going on, who's working, who's not working, uh, what systems are up, what's not. And of course, there are, there are all kinds of stories online, all kinds of stories um, from the news. And I, I've actually kind of turned off all of that just because it's, you know, there's always a little bit of truth in it, but the amount that's not so much as accurate as I would like it to be um, is just so overwhelming, and and you know, it, it's it really does get in people's heads. So, um, you know, we we are still up and operational. Everybody's working in in our offices: the Brockton office, Boston, uh, the legislative office in Washington, and in our Quincy office as well. And we're fully staffed. Everybody's there uh, to try to be as responsive as we can to the constituents as they you know have have these issues and. Um, doing all these kinds of things. So uh, pretty much, I, I guess I don't know if, if you, you should ask me like a question about particularly well, I, what I, we well, do there. Uh, uh, well, that was, that was huge. Uh -huh. That was, you know, how would I say it? And what we want to do is consolidate this because people realize that one thing can lead to another right. and you can, might be the point person and then bring them out somewhere else. Right. Again, you had mentioned you were at 37 Belmont so, Street. Second floor. The, a second floor, right. okay. And also, did you can be reached by your, your email and your phone number, maybe? Yeah. Right. All of that information is actually on the lynch.house.gov website under uh, the office tab. But for direct uh, contact, the office number is 508-586-5555. There's no extension, um, and there, there's no special way to call. They call straight in uh, to uh, my office. And um, you know, if we're there or not out at, at you know, an event or some sort of function, if the office isn't closed, um, there will be somebody there to answer uh, your call and to try to, again, be as responsive, responsive as we can be, just generally and then in this kind of climate. So um, we're doing as much as we can. And ho hopefully, you know, we're, we're still able to provide the highest level of service that we are known to give out of this office, out of Congressman Lynch's office, um, as we had in the past. And we're doing, um, you know, we're trying to do as much as we can. And fortunately, uh, m myself and my colleagues, uh, we've developed these relationships uh, with these other agencies that you know, we, we have ways to kind of help people out and, and, again, to navigate through this really uh, uncertain time. No, I appreciate that. And we want to thank the congressman for always thinking mm -hmm. about Broughton. We were grateful he came to the NAACP yes. breakfast on Saturday. We were able to recognize a whole lot of people. Mm -hmm. And right now, needless to say, people are stressed with a whole lot of things. Right. And I've talked to you before, and mm -hmm. we know that we're hoping to talk to the congressman when this deadlock ends, right. which we... But, you know, all hope is very soon for many. Uh, we want to talk about, you know, the steel tariffs and, mm -hmm. and how that's challenging businesses and municipalities. We also want to talk about infrastructure, infrastructure, because especially, of course, we feel it more in the wintertime. Mm. But as a whole, uh, uh, infrastructure, getting from place to place is necessary for everything, right. whether it's work, uh, res where you live. Uh, school, et cetera, and that's that's what we want to talk about. And then I guess we're going to wind down with this part, school. We have one of the largest school systems in the Commonwealth of Massachusetts. Mm -hmm. We have a ton of remarkable students from Broughton High and other schools. Yes, yes. Shane is a graduate of Broughton High. Um, excuse me, Cardinal Spellman. Yes, Cardinal Spellman. High. Yes. 1994, yes. Catch 19 the Spirit. <laughs> okay. Catch the Spirit, right? She's right up on the hill in Ward 5. And right. I just wanted to, you know, to, if you could possibly mention how how the congressman has come through for so many that are ready to be educated and serve our nation in times of peace and war with the, the various academies. Oh, oh, the uh, military academies. Yes. Okay. Yes. Yeah. So, um, as I understand it, now that's not really one of my my sure. like the forte that I, I do in the office, but my district director Bob Folks actually F O W K E S. If you are interested, or if your child is interested in um, potentially getting a recommendation uh, to attend one of the military academies, uh, Navy, Naval, uh, Air Force, mm, Army, uh, what's the other one? Navy, Air Navy, Force, uh, Marines, uh, Marines, oh, um, and, and Mass Maritime, I think yes. also, um, they're one of the academies uh, all over the country. And from what I understand, in order to um, even be considered for you know, the competitive application process, you need to get a recommendation from uh, your local congressman. And I believe each member has two. Right. Uh, so there yes. are, I mean, the students are coming in, and it's actually really encouraging to see from when I started working in this office um, more than 10 years ago, 
to see the amount of students that are coming in wanting to to go to these uh, the military academies and and not just you know boys as you would say a lot of our young women in uh, J, uh, J, JROTC sure. um, and interested in, in those kinds of fields, nursing, um, all of those other kinds of things that, that these kids are coming in. I mean, their grades are up, their community service is up. They are so, so willing to join these academies. And if you're interested, contact our office and uh, we will definitely five, try to do what we five can. 508-587-5586-5555. Right. Thank you, guest today. Thank Shana you. Shana Bonds, former city council at large mm -hmm. and current resident of Ward 5 yes. and definitely um, a public servant um, th through and through. And everyone, please be safe. I'm Ian Borgard, Ward 5 city councilor and 774-297-4939. Uh,